Hi everybody, this is Robert Greenstreet at Scott Leroy Marketing. Today we want to show you a little bit about sharing your calendar within Google Calendar. So your KW email, it comes with a Google Calendar because it is a Google account, but this should work for any Google account. Now this is assuming you've already upgraded to the newest version of Google Calendar. It's early um, 2018, late January, and Google has recently done an update in the last month or so. So this is the newest version of Google Calendar. So if it pops up asking you to upgrade, definitely tell it yes. Um, but if you haven't yet, it's a fairly similar process. Um, you just may need to click in some different spots or click different named buttons. But if you're using the newest version of Google Calendar, um, just inside your calendar here, you would go over here to the left under the My Calendar section, and whichever is your main calendar, which is probably going to be listed first, you would want to click these three little dots. Let me zoom in a little bit here three dots just to the right of the name of that calendar. Now, if you have other calendars, you're welcome to share those as well using the same process. If you're using the older version of Google Calendar, there'll be a little down arrow in this spot instead. And you'll click on settings and sharing. You can change the color here, but what we're gonna look at is settings and sharing. And then we'll scroll down just a little bit to this share with specific people section. You can make your calendar available to public and that would be <laughs> available on Google search. So you probably don't wanna do that for most things. So you wanna leave that unchecked. And then you can make it available within your organization. So if you're using your KW email, this would be available for anybody in KW if you shared them the link right here. And you can do that as well. You just check this box get shareable link, and then you would share this with people inside your organization. Um, I'm going to leave that unchecked for the time being because I want to share this with one specific person. So I'm going to add people here, and I want to share this just with Scott. Scott at scottleroymarketing.com. You put in their email, and then you choose which kind of events they want you to, you want them to be able to see. So you only want them, uh, you can only show them that, okay, during this block of time, I'm either busy or available. It doesn't show them what you're doing, what the name of the appointment is, or anything like that. You can see all event details so that they'll see the name of the event and any notes and anybody else attending. They can make changes to that event if you want them to. Um, they can change the name, change the time, change the details, change who's going or whatever and then make changes and manage sharing. So you can share this calendar with someone, and then if you do this option, they can then share that calendar with someone else. So in most cases, you usually just want to do see all event details, but if you're sharing this with maybe an assistant, an executive assistant who manages your calendar for you, you probably want to share it uh, with make changes to events. And then if you really, really trust them, you can change it, share it with make changes and manage sharing. We're just going to do see all event details here and then click send. So then now when they open up their Google Calendar, I could go back to settings over here, they'll see your calendar over here on the left and they can toggle it on and off to see um, your calendar or not. If you guys have any questions about that, feel free to shoot us an email at support at scottleroymarketing.com. Thank you and have a great day.